Good morning, welcome to Morning Outlook. This is Kim speaking on Tuesday the 6th of November. So, um, are we um, about to see a bit of a swing in these markets I'm asking from my weekly outlook? Uh, there's, there's, there's some sort of uh, traces that suggest to me that we could be changing course a little bit, but we'll see, uh, technically and fundamentally. Um, but the, the, as the week goes on, some of those questions will be answered, and we'll, I mean, we'll obviously uh, prove the technical changes. Maybe now I'm looking at the euro dollar here, and uh, it's just a price action. And uh, I talk about price action. Is is nothing massively confirmed? Last week I was looking at this four hourly, and I looked at. I liked the fact that we had the higher low come through, although that dipped on and dumped on Friday a little bit. And then yesterday we put a lower high in effect, or confirmed a lower high effectively. Um, no, we didn't. It was a low. A low uh, no, it was a miss. It is a mess. <laughs> That's what we confirmed yesterday. It wasn't a lower high. To, well, maybe it. Uh, it sold off here, pitched up, and um, broke those lows. So yeah, it was a lower high. Um, it's all right. I get my brain into gear this morning. Anyway, um, as we push, we then pushed up and had a decent solid run, but. Um, I'm I'm wondering if this is a, a bit of a the a, the battle of the bulls and the bears sort of thing going on here. We've broken the trend original trend line. It came back effectively testing uh, that trend line. I'd left it a bit short there. It tested that trend line, pitched up, couldn't quite make it effectively. Bit of softening, but then yesterday the buying came in yesterday afternoon again, and uh, we're seeing that now. The momentum isn't behind this move at the moment. You can see. I mean, if you need an indicator to show you that. You just need to look. That it's starting to pick up, but we've had lots of little picky bars in between here. Um, it's not a, a solid momentum like what we saw when we pushed up originally. So um, it may be an early, early thought uh, of mine, and it may not come to anything. For when you come down to this 60-minute uh, time frame, well, we're looking. I'm looking here. We've got the daily pivot below. I would like to see that hit before I was looking. If I did look at the long side. Um, in terms of what we're seeing here, yesterday took a lot of patience. I mean, it eventually came down. It acted on on a mixed broker and composite uh, price levels. It hit its S1, um, and then it rallied and went back for the daily pivot. Now I'd, I'd rather it come down and catch, just catch the daily pivot and put pitch up. So that's really what I'm looking for this morning. If you can do that, I'll be happy um, because I'll be looking at the moment as a potential buy, buying uh, buyer uh, of the euro dollar. So that's where I was sitting there. Um, sorry, it took a bit long to explain that, but I'll zip through the rest now. Cable looking uh, a bit more bullish in, in real terms here. There's the potential that uh, there's talk about a deal being made. Again, sort of shallow retracement. Didn't sell off quite the same pattern as we saw on the euro there yesterday. It, well, held its own from last week. It just closed the gap that was filled there and has been pushing up. But again, momentum wise, just look at the size of these candles relative to what we saw before. And it is weak at the moment. Um, and arguably, um, well, there might have even be divergences across the top of those highs there. But uh, we'll see. Uh, again, I'm waiting here for for me to be buying into this. I need it to retrace anyway, so I need it to come back at least at daily pivot for me to be buying, maybe into the 50 uh, for me to be buying. But it's, it's just probably just indecisiveness uh, as we're rolling through this week with uh, the Fed meeting later in the week, etc. So there's plenty to slow us down. Uh, dollar yen continuing it. I mean, yesterday was a, almost a nowhere. To, well, it was a nowhere day because it opened and closed at the same level, really, and didn't do much in between. And well, it's pitched up a little bit at the moment. The pivots are all pinched. It's uh, uh, not looking. I mean, it, but it is pushing up. It has made another uh, another attempt at a new high there. Well, it has made new high there. Not closed up there, but uh, making attempts now. Yeah, we see some. Consolidation is in a breakdown at some point. Well, we got we do have the um, uh, weekly pivots to be aiming for at some point, I say. But uh, uh, yesterday we didn't even get back to the daily pivot there, and well, uh, it's it's struggling even here. But uh, I just adjusted the trend line a little bit this morning. You can just see how it's been bought into that uh, second point there. It uh, it's been buying and well. Dollar, the dollar's still showing its strength here, whereas it's not elsewhere. It may be just unwinding of uh, 
positions that were made there for safety or to put in there for safety. Aussie dollar continues its um, attempt of pushing up and again you can see the, the, the pure momentum I mean it's a, a one day wonder really to be fair with the Aussie dollar um, but it has still got the potential for for a, a pull back to that uh, weekly pivot would like to have seen that but uh, if it's going to go without it well it is at the moment and again as I said the momentum is just not in this market these markets at the moment and that's uh, possibly as traders wait for the news now um, Again, daily pivot untouched, not really there, anything for me to trade there, so I'm going to flick through it quickly. And it's the same case here with the Canadian dollar. To me, it's in some respects, it's a little bit untradeable in terms of uh, looking at it for intraday, for swing wise. I was hoping that we'd uh, see a, a, a pull back to that monthly pivot and give me the platform to be buying off of, but uh, it's not really, it's uh, just. Um, dancing around here and it's going at this gets little putting in slightly higher highs in there generally <laughs> uh, but some of these lows is there's, there's, there's a wide old gap between the highs and the lows here but uh, we'll see how it can it, it manages because if it starts selling off um, in any di direction it could change all of that uh, and swing back into being uh, um, bearish again but for now just looking at short times it's such a mess it's got no real targets um, either way um, and it's probably best left alone uh, on an intraday basis I mean swing truck paces there's as I say there's trades in some of these currencies potentially I think we could be as, as I said at the beginning could be of a pivotal point where we see some changes now um, just looking at the calendar then for today uh, what's coming out well we've already had the um, Australian uh, statement come out no changes there not a great expect uh, it, there weren't great expectations of anything in fact it, it was pretty widely expected it would stay the same and I'm just going back to the 60 minute Aussie and you can't even see where the news announcement was made uh, which pretty much uh, sums it up um, <laughs> <laughs> no no change whatsoever there um, later on today uh, for the New Zealand dollar for those trading New Zealand dollar we've got a bit of uh, employment news but aside of that um, we've got a congressional, a congressional elections in the US and this is probably uh, part of the, the other part of the reason I mentioned the FOMC later in the week but this is the other reason we've probably seen these markets slow down so uh, have a great day um, I'll speak to you tomorrow bye for now Thank you.